perception of me is a reflection of you. Sorry guys, I had to go lotion my arms real quick because it was looking kind of ratchet. Hi you guys, so today I'm going to be talking about my tattoos. I'm probably going to do another video right after this talking about my piercings just because I get a lot of questions about those two. We'll just hop right into this video. So the first tattoo that I got, I'll probably insert pictures if you guys can't see it that well. I was on Venice Beach, I had just turned 18 like two months ago and I was like I can't believe I'm 18 and I still haven't gotten a tattoo like what the heck so basically I got this too shall pass and um I know it's kind of like a quote that everybody has somewhere on their body but my grandma had passed away it's been two years now and um at that time like i was getting ready to go to my first year of college and i was just like under all this stress and like i was like breaking up with like my boyfriend in the process and i just had all this stuff like coming against me i felt like and i felt like life was just really hard and um my friend from high school she had this quote this too shall pass and um at the time i was like trying to build my relationship with god and i was like you know what sorry guys like these curls are just they're bothering me but basically yeah life was just like against me and i was like having a really hard time and i was like you know what no matter how bad things are right now eventually it's gonna pass eventually it's gonna go away like i won't have to worry about it no more like it will pass i will move on i will conquer and just kind of having that mindset and that's kind of why I got this two shall pass as my first tattoo. So the pain for this one, it was my first tattoo. So in my mind, it was like very painful. I was like, oh my God, it wasn't like that painful where you can tolerate it, but it kind of felt like a cat, like scratching on your skin, like non-stop like if you've ever been scratched by a cat like that's kind of what it feels like but over and over and over again so, so my second and third tattoo um don't know if you guys can see it this tattoo i would say out of all my tattoos i think it hurt the worst a lot of people say like ribs hurt like your feet hurt i don't know i have a rib tattoo so this one hurt more than my ribs excuse me basically the best way to describe this um flower chrysanthemum was the first like long word that i learned how to spell like i know that's kind of like random and my grandma that passed away she had um she had a garden and like she had a garden in her front yard and backyard and like my grandma she just loved flowers and like her flowers were like one of the most important things to her like if she didn't water her flowers she'd trip out and flip and like she was basically really just like focused you know on her flowers and like really cared about them like they were a human being honestly i don't know she was a plant whisperer to me if any like flower was dying like she could save it and so i kind of um i remember she had like these chrysanthemums in her garden and i don't know chrysanthemums are just one of those flowers that are like they're really different to me in my opinion um I don't know they're different and they're so beautiful and i was just like well a chrysanthemum like it goes kind of along with my grandma and so that's kind of why i guess that i got this tattoo that's like basically the shortest version that i can say but yeah that's why i got this tattoo for my grammy um so my next tattoo is the one that's on my pinky and i'm a very like the one thing that i believe in over anything is that love will prevail through all and like love is like the best thing and it makes the world go round and so um i don't know if you guys did this when you were like a kid but you were like pinky promise or whatever like I take promises like very serious like if you promise me you're gonna do something 
like I really expect you to you know uphold to that promise I like I don't know promises have just been a really big thing to me and so this is kind of to remember I don't know like not to like I don't know why I'm doing this with my hands but it, <laughs> it just makes me like think about pinky promises and the reason why I got a heart is because promises a lot of the time have to do with people you love or with love and also it's kind of like a symbol for like my family like I'll always like keep them like with me and just to remind myself to love I don't know there's a lot of like meaning behind this one little tattoo and to be honest in life and you know so it's kind of a short explanation of that one the next tattoo i got you know this one's the hardest one for me to talk about just because it um it really is very personal to me so i'm gonna try to explain it without like crying or anything uh but basically my um i don't know if anybody saw but like the bird cage is like it's been broken so basically when um I moved to Portland. I don't know really how to go into this. Um, basically, all I can say is that for seven years of my life, I was physically abused and I kind of felt like a bird trapped in a cage. I was a kid at the time, so I couldn't like really do anything about my situation like I couldn't stand up for myself or anything like that and so I really felt like this um this bird trapped in a cage after like my abuser went to jail um I sort of like developed PTSD from the whole experience so I have very bad depression very bad anxiety and um this tattoo is kind of just a reminder of like, you know what, you're not that girl in the cage anymore. You're not like trapped. You're a survivor. You got out. You broke free and, you know, like live life. Don't let anything hold you back. You know, a lot of people take, uh, I'm starting to get teary eyed. A lot of people take life for like granted and like don't do that like you know love everybody around you make sure that they know that you love them make sure that they know that you appreciate them because like one day when you're on your deathbed you're gonna wish like what if i would have done this what if i would have said that to this person and i don't know you just break free <laughs> i'll probably do a longer video kind of talking about that just um just to help other people you know saying that you know there is help there are opportunities and if you're in that kind of situation right now like please get out of it like a lot of people don't understand it like i don't know it's just one of those touchy topics but like i said i'll probably do a video on it or whatever so my next tattoo is right here on my rib cage i'll probably insert a picture for you guys to see these two tattoos go hand in hand so basically it says she's living in irish i know that it says this because i've like asked my like irish like family and like checked all over the internet just to make sure that like it really says what it says and i didn't just get anything weird on my body so it's just kind of a reminder just like this one like to break free and to live like you know, like all the negative things that I've been through in life, I'm not going to let them hold me down. I'm not going to let them hold me back. I'm going to keep going and I'm going to keep prevailing. I'm going to keep fighting and I'm going to live. You know what I mean? So that's basically kind of what that one means. I'm probably going to get more tattoos. I just, yeah, these are all the ones that I have right now. But I'll probably have to insert a picture of this one too. So basically what it is, is the state of organs outline and then there's horseshoe in it. So I was born and partially raised in Pendleton, Oregon, a very small town in eastern Oregon. And 
the reason why I got this tattoo is kind of basically like every time I look down at like my arm that's what I see like I'm a small town girl who came to the city and now I'm at university level and I'm trying to do bigger and better things you know like don't forget along the way like the people who helped you the people who loved you especially like family and friends like those relationships can be forever if you want them to be and just kind of like hold on to those things and cherish them I don't really know that's like <laughs> the best explanation that I can give of that one but I hope that you guys enjoyed my tattoos and I hope that you guys have a wonderful day and I will see you next time. Your perception of me is a reflection of you. My reflection of you was awareness of me. You can hear something but not really know what it means. Uh, uh. And I don't learn some shit, I just said